Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, English with Annette. Do you find it hard to speak English? To get that first word or phrase out? Would you like to find those simple yet very effective ways of starting a conversation and keep it going? Well, I believe I can help you with that. In today's video, I'm going to show you a simple conversation with useful phrases for you to use over and over again to get you started feeling more comfortable and relaxed. If you like this video, please subscribe and remember to ring the bell so you don't miss out on new videos. If you have an idea for a video that you would like to see on this channel, please leave me a comment below. Oh, and be generous. Share the video. I really appreciate it. Thank you. At the preschool. You are dropping off your child at the preschool. Let's say you are dropping off your child at the preschool. One simple yet very effective way of starting a conversation is with good morning. Now, first off, I'm going to read the lines and then I'm going to be the preschool teacher and you are going to be you. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Very well, thank you. And you? I'm great, thanks. All right. Now you're going to read this with me. Go ahead. You can start. Good morning. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Good morning. Very well, thank you. And you? Very useful for everyday conversation. And of course, how are you? Let's continue. I will read the lines and then you will read this with me and you will be you. Where can I hang her coat? Of course, let me show you. Here are their hooks for their jackets and backpacks. What time will you be picking her up today? Now you start. Don't be shy. Of course, let me show you. Here are their hooks for their jackets and backpacks. What time will you be picking her up today? Good work. Hooks for jackets and backpacks. I would like to ask you if you've learned something through this video today. If you have, I would appreciate it if you would take a moment and give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate your help. Let's continue. I will pick her up at 3 p.m. this afternoon. Good. Now, what does she enjoy doing? We have Play-Doh and crayons, for example. Now you start. Good. Now, what does she enjoy doing? We have Play-Doh and crayons, for example. Play-Doh, crayons. Sorry? Would you mind saying that again, thanks? Of course. Does she prefer Play-Doh or crayons? She loves to play with Play-Doh. Wonderful. It's actually very good for creativity. Now you start. Of course. Does she prefer Play-Doh or crayons? Wonderful. It's actually very good for creativity. Now, let's do this again to make sure you've got it. Remember, repetition is key in language learning. I will be the preschool teacher and you will be you. You start. Good morning, how are you? I'm great, thanks. Of course, let me show you. Here are their hooks for their jackets and backpacks. What time will you be picking her up today? 
Good. Now, what does she enjoy doing? We have Play-Doh and crayons, for example. Of course. Does she prefer Play-Doh or crayons? Good work. To make sure these new words and phrases will stick with you, I'm going to make a recap. Now, repeat these words and phrases with me. Good morning. Very well, thank you. And you? Where can I? I will? At 3 p.m. Sorry? Would you mind? She loves to. I would like to point out that starting a sentence with the phrase Would you mind? is very useful. You can start almost any question with that. So if you know this phrase, you can start saying a sentence while still thinking about how to end it. That's the beauty of these phrases. Phrases simplify your daily conversations in English. Please use this dialogue for further practice with a friend or a family member. Did I upload a useful video for you? If I did, please leave me a comment below and hit that subscribe button. And yes, remember to ring the bell so I can notify you when I've uploaded a new video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.